The Hudson River Estuary. What is an estuary? An estuary is where fresh water mixes with the sea. This dynamic mixing creates constantly changing conditions in terms of temperature, salinity, and nutrient content, resulting in a biologically rich habitat. This waterway is home for millions of valuable fishes and invertebrates. Our rich coastal estuaries nourish the continental shelf, which supports many fish species, including flounders, whiting, red hake, totog, manhattan, bluefish, sea robin, and mackerel. Some fishes are just passing through during their migration, while others, over 200 species, are permanent residents in our sea. Our Estuary The Hudson River originates 315 miles upstate in the Adirondacks. It flows to the Atlantic Ocean from a tiny lake on New York's highest peak at 4,000 feet on Mount Marcy. Native Americans called the Hudson the river that flows both ways, referring to the incoming ocean and tides fighting with the seaward flow of the river. Verrazano Narrows, this is Brooklyn. Staten Island and Coney Island and the New York Aquarium. In an estuary, we have the flounder, bluefish, tautog, and striped bass. Invertebrate inhabitants. Many different invertebrate animals, no backbone, populate the estuaries. Sea stars, urchins, crabs, shrimp, mussels, barnacles, and sea grapes are just a few of the invertebrates found in our local waters. Many invertebrates filter feed on plankton, and many um, tiny organisms buried in sediments and are themselves food for many local fishes. Much of the fuzz seen on, on dock pilings and floats are invertebrates called bryzoans. They're animals, not plants. Here's a picture of starfish, sea urchin, green, green crab, mussels, and sea grapes. Tropical vacationers visit Brooklyn. Like an underwater flume, flume ride from Florida to New York, juvenile fishes that are generally weak swimmers are often carried in the Gulf Stream and then end up in local waters in the summer. These brightly colored tropical tourists include the butterfly fish, permit, pompano, filefish, and lookdowns. As winter approaches, many of these fishes die due to cold temperatures or are eaten by native fish.